I wish robotic surgery had reached a pinnacle of a point where, you know, people would come in for surgery in the morning and go home in the evening after heart surgery. I think that may happen in the future, but as of today, most of the patients who come in for robotic heart surgery tend to get discharged around three to four days after surgery and get back to a normal life doing all activities as early as one to two weeks after heart surgery. Well, yes, robotic heart surgery fixes your heart, but doesn't change all the risk factors. If you have a risk factor of high blood pressure or high sugar or, or high cholesterol that led to the problem in the first place, irrespective of whether you've had robotic heart surgery or open heart surgery, you need to make lifestyle changes. If you're smoking, you need to stop smoking, you need to start walking, watch your diet, have a healthy lifestyle, sleep on time, wake up on time. People often ask me, Dr. Adil, why robotic surgery? And I would always tell them, why not? If you want the best phone, you're not going to buy a Nokia phone today or an age-old Alcatel kind of phone. You're going to go for something that's more advanced, has better equipment, has better response, and serves all your needs. The same thing with heart surgery. When you have options of robotic surgery and minimal access surgery, why would you want to resort to open heart surgery? unless it is indicated for a specific purpose. Well, the answer to that is whether everybody likes to eat with chopsticks. Some people like to use their hands, some people like a fork and spoon, and some people are adept and innately comfortable using chopsticks. The same is with robotic surgery. People who have had adequate training and exposure to the robotic systems and minimally invasive surgery are very comfortable in performing robotic heart surgery. I think it's only a matter of time that more and more surgeons, not just in our country but across the world, adopt robotic heart surgery.